Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how to preserve bell pepper, red bell pepper. All right, first of all, what we have to do, of course, everybody knows, we have to cut it first in four pieces. We're gonna clean the seeds out and take the white out, which I already took care of it over here, the rest. Now, usually I have to cut it in four, but because I don't wanna play little by little, so what you do, you just slice it because we're gonna put slice in the jar to preserve them. And why we have to do this? When we roast them, we don't want water. We want the water to evaporate. Without water, we have to preserve it. Otherwise, it will spoil. So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put, I already turned on the fire and I'm gonna put them on the grill. I have bell, uh, red pepper too. Some of them are chili, some of them are not. What did I do? I just uh, make, a, because they are so thin, so I just slice it a little bit like this, so if there's any liquid, to get down. So we're gonna put this like this way, and we're gonna roast. You stay here, don't leave it alone, because they burn very, very quickly. So we put those two fires already. So we're gonna make sure that we pay attention. We don't want them to burn, but we want them, the skin to get a little bit softer, and to be roasted so the good fire taste the roasting taste it goes into the skin so well, you can use this later on in any kind of dish you can make it for uh, in your spaghetti lasagna uh, beans and peas and anything you want to use it or you can just put on a slice of cheese on a bread with the bell pepper to it the taste it will be so good all right we are back we roasted the pepper here it is, which I clean them up so we don't have to wait. And what it is, this is the way it will look. So while you are peeling, the, it's very easy to peel it. Once, once you roast it, try to put in a paper bag or any plastic bag, whatever. So what it does from the moist, uh, it softens the skin and it will become much easier to peel it. Take, make sure all the skin are gone. It's okay if it stays a little uh, seeds on the, into the peppers, but try to clean as much as you can. And please do not wash the pepper because you need the taste of the roasting smelly taste into your pepper to preserve it. So you can eat this uh, pepper with any dish. You can cook them with your dish. You can just eat them as an appetizer you can put with anything. So you get a nice clean jar and you put them just like this. Usually I don't put garlic, but because I have it, I figure like when I put it, it will give even better taste. If you like, it will be nice. But this is the way usually I preserve. You put them, let them stand up like this. So this way it will make it easier for you to take them out. Fill them good. Here we go. Make sure that when you, uh, like I said, roast them, make a, uh, with a knife, slice them. If you don't cut them, uh, just make that, uh, just lit a little bit. So the liquid, it should evaporate. You should not have water. If there is a water, it will be spoiled. We don't want any water in your pepper. All right. So this is the way you put. Oh, it's perfect. I think this is beautiful. It fits already in it. There. I'm going to put just a little bit garlic in it just to give for me taste because I'm not going to save it for all time. We eat a lot. But you can put it and then just pepper and that will be okay too. And make sure that you kind of press it so it won't be any too much air airbags, if, um, airspace. If there is, you fill the oil, you wait until it absorbs, make sure that it's all over, there is oil in it. You put any kind of oil you want, but I always put olive oil because it gives really, really delicious taste. So now we have to fill this. We make sure that 
it will fill up not just the top it has to go down we'll wait until it absorbs so once it's really soaked in and went you cover the cap and you put it in a cool place or refrigerator it can stay out but make sure that it's a cool place it is if there is air just make sure that with your knife you move them so let let them make sure it's clean your knife we don't want any contaminations and fill it up see it's gone down already you feel the oil just wait again because it could be always in the middle here and there it will be some air we don't want any air so this way the olive it will keep stays and preserve it Look how beautiful it looks. There you go, let's show it this way, there. Now, you keep this at least a week, so the oil and the garlic, it's all together. It will combine and it will very, very good taste. So this is, you can just enjoy it by putting in a plate and enjoy it with the cheese, with anything that you want, or you can slice them, cut them, bake them, uh, I mean, uh, use it in a cooking while you're cooking and it will give you very very delicious taste so i hope you will try this and you will be able to do good and you will enjoy it if you like this please subscribe my channel and bon appetit i will say enjoy it thank you very much for watching bye bye